Thank you for tuning in to CW Hip Hop Podcast. This is a live one after the live hour that we do Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Normally we do one before the live show just to kind of warm up, but we, uh, we're busy, so we're going to do one after. Just kind of change it up. It'll be up uh, on Spotify and SoundCloud after uh, we record it here, so it'll be live for tomorrow. Um, just kind of going to be talking about some things at the station, some updates we want to be doing, uh, things that are kind of developing, uh, anything like that nature. Probably do about a half hour or so since we uh, are just going to be talking about that. Nothing, no topics we had left over. Otherwise, we'll talk about that. Uh, how's everybody doing? We have Prism and Garky in here. Yeah. Um, it's been a really good week. Uh, I think we got more artists on the station. We got uh, a lot more music. Our push this week was super good. We got oh, yeah. so much outreach. Got a lot of engagement. A yep. lot of Hell engagement. Yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate all of it. Oh, like definitely. all the support is amazing. Yeah. Honestly, it's the best thing you can do if you want to help support what we're doing is just share a post. It costs nothing. Um, it gets exactly. out to people who enjoy your music, who are probably going to be open to other people's music, and it'll not only help yourself but other people here as well. If we all do it. It's more ears listening to local Wisconsin hip hop. Yeah, and the more we do that, the more people are just going to continuously grow including the station and it'll get everyone's name out there so i know we have a range of artists from huge and already kind of making it to people who have like three to five songs Mm -hmm. yeah and all of them together same platform same spot can listen to every single one of them. You're one big pot. Hours it's, just, it's yep. just mixed together, and we're Facts. gonna be we're gonna go from four to probably eight once we get there. We're getting really close. We're at six right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, music keeps flooding in, so we can start getting I more mean, yeah. curated was... playlists. I want to work with Prism here. Yeah, uh, getting some more uh, like just songs that fit together so that way when you're listening it's not so random and uh, jumbled like the vibe it, stays the same the vibe stays yep. the same for about an hour um we're gonna still stick to that hour i think block uh just so we're not overloading it but it's not like it's too short yep. um we get 24 hours in a day and all that so it, it works well yeah uh and then we we're gonna switch it every day so it's like the same rotation of music is not gonna be the same monday tuesday wednesday like it'll those will all switch so it'll be anytime you tune in it can be different uh so Facts. you're hearing any of the eight hours worth of music because we have a lot of good stuff that it, yeah we don't expect you to sit down and listen to it all i mean the thing is sitting. too is people, i expect you to listen to it all <laughs> at least once <laughs> at least one time <laughs> a big thing is too is that people usually like come in on the same day at the same time every week too because yeah. it's their time that they have to be able to listen to it so if you're giving them like the same section of an hour worth of music every week they're just going to end up hearing the same 10 songs over and over again so yeah we're trying to add a bit of diversity to that just because i mean we want you guys to hear everything right now it's just kind of automated um because we we have other jobs and we only can we're doing a lot to it but it's like it's just one thing you can't just go in there every day and like make it so it's like it's new for each person like once we focus more of this as being like a full-time gig than we can but we yeah. still work on this pretty much every day though yeah like, there's no sleep true to it i don't think you understand how long it takes to program some of that like that's a good yeah. couple hour job yeah um, and it's, like, just, it's nice to just have it all set up no no bugs uh it's just, it just works because mm-hmm. like even when we're not in here we're on our phones networking all day we're always talking to people we're always posting on our pages we're always posting on our story yeah like we're engaging with uh, everybody we have on the station of posting their stuff too onto our stories and stuff and shouting them out. And yeah, anytime a song's dropping, we try and reshare it and say where the links are. Um, oh, yeah. Like I didn't even think about that. Zach and Zill, they have their, their song coming out, so we want to just kind of network more and make it so that way the pre-saves are higher, so that way they get better playlists and we kind of draw more attention here for all the other artists. I think, I think the more we work together, I'm promoting everybody's music the better everybody's gonna be yeah like it's not it's not 100%. a zero-sum game we need to work together for it no because you, you and someone else get the can't have together. the same fans mm-hmm. like that's not a problem no of course if not. anything that makes people want to show up to shows and stuff even more exactly because they're like oh i know two out of the three people performing here and i like their music a lot facts yeah or even all th- i know everybody who's performing tonight yeah <laughs> that's that'd be a goal yeah to get everybody a name at least something here so it's like facts there there's some uh there's some uh promotion and branding with everybody so you can actually get a serious foothold because i think that's one issue is like if you do it by yourself you're not going to really have as much success as if if you work with a team it's just not how that's going to work so you you have to you have to work together to really get any serious traction yeah on another note how's this 
freaking weather the past couple days. Other than weird. the rain. Other than the rain. It's been oh, nice. It's been really nice. Um, but hot as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I'm not excited for the summer. I'm getting. I'm already I am. thinking. No, about, I, I see. I love summer. He's not a summer guy. No, no dude, he's he not my puddles. Thing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm already thinking about moving the AC out of the garage. You know, <laughs> that's why I had you guys. With his new style, it might be rough. He's gonna have to wear pants and a long sleeve shirt all summer. Oh, <laughs> can geez. I do like shorts? Dude. I mean, like, I guess. Well, it yeah, was just really, so. <laughs> it's not like, comfortable. And we can get you some thinner shirts and stuff yeah, too. That something because so... I'm gonna sweat right through that. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. Uh. Yeah, I was uh, I was really excited we did that that photo shoot. That was a lot of fun. Um, that photo shoot was, was awesome. Needed. Yeah, we uh, went to fun. the Riverwalk over in Wasa. Got Riverview. a couple of, Riverview. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, in a couple locations there, so uh, I'm excited for those to develop and those pictures are gonna out. be awesome. I cannot wait to see them. And Ty, them. who took our pictures again? His name is Artie, and uh, he is a listener and also a really good photographer. He's at one hour photo on Instagram. It's spelt out one, so O N E. H O U R P H O T O one hour photo on Instagram. He takes amazing pictures, and hey, it's for the low. So if you ever need pictures taken, hit him up on Instagram. Go give him a follow because he might him be a follow for sure. Posting more local artists here if he gets the work, so you'll be seeing the pictures there first probably. Fuck yeah, and that's a huge thing too that we want to promote as well is trying to work with other local people of like artists. trying to well, find people artists. who will take. Uh, pictures people who will do music videos and like get a group of people together so everyone already knows each other so it just exactly. makes the process super yeah like if you want to like help you don't kind have of to art rap. it doesn't have to be hip-hop you don't have to make hip-hop music you don't have if to make, you music, make yeah, art you, can, you could yeah you could be a drawer you could be a painter you could be yeah. uh, a logo design logos for covers anything uh, cover art you make art like that. and you think you can help us Hit us up. Yeah, seriously. Reach out to some of the artists. Links to all their socials are on the CW Hip Hop, so there's no reason you can't reach yep. out to them. You can easily go on our socials and click right on their ads. We just posted one today, and we tagged a shit ton of artists in it. Yeah, um, definitely worth uh, reaching out, because I'd rather support somebody with, in the same area here than reaching out to somebody on the internet. It just kind of yeah. keeps uh, keeps the relationship more personal. And... and I mean, realistically, as rappers, you're trying to build yourself a team. And so, an image. Like... When you have someone you consistently work with that's like from your area, even if you guys both start off as amateur rapper and amateur photographer, you guys are going to grow together and you're going to be able to build a brand together because you're going to understand what each other wants as you work together more. What pictures you like, what what angles and lighting and all that. Mm-hmm. Like That's not something like you're getting a new photographer each time you do a shoot. You got to re, re-explain re what you want. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's something I important. never thought about. Until of course. Yeah. Right yeah. Having that, that connection will make... The photo shoot way easier and you'll get better results faster yeah, and better it'll, results it'll always be more quality for sure for mm-hmm. sure yeah because everything will just feel more natural and that person will want to put effort into your work because you keep giving them yep. business mm-hmm. yeah 100%. Well, I mean, when, you, when you have more of a friend connection when you have more of a friend connection with a business connection that really helps with 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 the flow and the vibe in the business you know it, it makes it easier to work together yeah yeah other, it's not so stiff other than like photographer what other uh what other like talents do you think would be beneficial for incorporating into like CW Hip Hop and like videography? CW-RC? I mean, videography, I guess kind of ties uh, the same. I'd producers, say. marketing. We do need about advertisers. Advertisers. advertisers, marketing, things such as yeah. that. If you do, if you do ad work, boom, we could use that. Marketing would be beneficial. Graphic we'll, designer. Reach out to an artist and uh, hey, no, I'm <laughs> reach out to an artist and see what you could work with for like a, a campaign or something. Like, do you got a song coming up? Like, do something more than just. Yeah, like a post, and then it's like the day before you drop it, you share something, yeah. you post it, and then like the day after you share it, and you're like, oh, I got a hundred plays. And, and it's like, not just it's not just all it for, for us. Like Fifteen days, like, thirty days. Hit up the artists as well. Hit up all the Wisconsin artists and get you know get your name out there, like we're saying. Not just not just things for CW Hip Hop, but for all the artists on the station as well. Yeah, and also uh, we're starting to try to branch out to find people who will mix for other people because I know some of our guys here don't really mix for themselves. Not all of them, but. Um, I think we could find more local people because I know some of them are just outsourcing, which I mean you can do. But if you can There's find just a not lo- much here, yeah, if you can find a local person, can sit down with them, can work on it together, and be like, oh yeah, that's exactly the sound I was going for. Instead of, oh, I'm sending this to you. Can you work on it and hopefully give me back a result that I actually wanted? Yeah. So so mixing um, audio engineers is that what they're called? Uh, audio engineer, mixing engineers, uh, mastering engineers. Masters, yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about labels? 
What do you mean what like, I feel like? Like, do you think we need a label around here? Do you think we should I, do independent There are work? labels around here. There are. There so, like, Wavy are. Baby and I Love You Truly, they're a part of Death Rose Records is what I think they call themselves. Death Rose. Death Rose, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, there are, there are records. And they're, and they're all Marcus. minor labels, I'm Yeah, they're all small, sure. of course, of course. They're all just, like, they're, like, face clan kind of things, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just small, small at this point. It's just an organization <laughs> that they bring themselves together. They just together. kind of work together, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all really Kind of like what we're doing with CW like, Hip Hop. Literally exactly what we're doing. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. They just call themselves a label so that, you know, at some point they can start bringing in other artists and producing for them and all that. And mixing jazz. for them. Exactly. And, yeah, just having that outlet be... That. With more people, it's easier to be more creative, honestly. Getting a team. Like, because I know when... You can bounce off ideas on people, that is always the best. Yeah, because I know when I was doing it, like, early on, by myself, I mean, I'm trying to think of bars sometimes, and I'm just not hitting. And so, with you guys, sometimes, I'll be just like, I'm stuck here. Give me a word or something that rhymes with this that I'm not thinking of. Or not only that, like, put this line after this one, or this one before that yeah, one. Yeah, switch and these two, because it, yeah. it just hits better that way. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, no, it just makes it more smooth. It's a way better process, especially having people that you have worked with before, gotten comfortable with, because it just makes your music that much more natural. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like you have any pressure on you. One thing, too, I think that we could benefit from incorporating like a business standpoint. um, We need places to perform. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, there, there might be somebody out there who's like, hey, we have like a stage and like we use it whatever so often or we have it here. Like, we reached out to Q and Z. We haven't got a response at all. Like, I've done it a couple times now. I'm like, oh, well, if you don't want business, like you're the only one in town. But it's like, I get COVID's here. But like, it really, at least respond to us. And like, yeah, because I mean, we want to give business and we want to put on shows for artists here because they want to perform coming out of COVID. They've been making all this music. They're finally getting people who listen. Well, and why wouldn't they want concerts to be happening once COVID lets up? Yeah. Like, and you, you should be responding to that. Night school, we we uh, could do there, but it's like there's only two options in town here, yeah. and I want to keep them in Wasa. That was the whole reason I really started. It was because I'm bored as all hell. <laughs> like, I just I don't want to drive to Appleton. I don't want to drive to Eau Claire, Madison. Like those are uh, those are a drive. We have enough people here. We have enough Facts. business. Why can't we do it? couple blocks away and I can come home afterwards. 400 block would be fucking perfect. Well, and we could, that'd be a lot of fun. I mean, block? instead of going to like Eau Claire or something like that where centralized point in the state too, that we can bring people from all those It's all areas. freeway too. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all we've, freeway. We've driven it's, enough. We've done our dues. You guys come to us. <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing it for we years. We have great scenery, cheap hotels, <laughs> Cheap Very bars. cheap hotels. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, get, like it's a great And they're they're not bad vacation. hotels. They're just cheap. Yeah, they are, it's just because we, we're not that too, that we're not that dense population. We don't have like now that Dances winter's done. Taurus. Yeah, it's mainly mm-hmm. built for like the ski hill here, um, <laughs> and that's done. So it's like now they're just like sitting there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so it's you can get a nice hotel for two hundred bucks and yeah. under. I think a cool that, thing to do than, would yeah. eventually be able to start our own venue and partner up with some of the hotels to get like people who are coming oh. to the concerts and stuff like minor discounts. Of not like, just people come I would say like the artists get the, get the discounts something yeah, no no but people come into the shows and stuff so then like on that night if you are going to these shows you get this small discount and we promote them at the show as well or like use like, this link or something it's a back and forth sort of thing obviously they're not yeah. just going to give us these discounts I understand when we're bringing in people to them yeah yeah they're, ma- they're making money off of it yeah there, there's ideas we can play with um, definitely uh, I think it's Obviously, that's an eventual though, because yeah. we're not starting a bar. <laughs> we need to find a place to perform first. Soon. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's, yeah. That's a bar a would be nice. I think if we found a nice bar that like had a good layout for it, like there's some that are just long, and you're like, mm, this isn't really uh, the best place to like have a crowd. Yeah, but it's a, it's still a place. It is a place. I mean, that's fair. We'll take what we get. Yeah, I, I think we should literally be trying to hit up any place that can point fit two. more than 20 people. On I'd be floor. interested to go to Point. Like <laughs> point would be too bad, yeah. No, that's not too bad a drive. No, um, not at all. And we got a lot of artists within the area here of like, that's not a drive for them either. We could do four or five artists. Oh, easily. Three, four. Like we could, we could do a couple shows, a couple variations, mm-hmm. see which people, what people, who people want to see and um, get more engagement and who can pull in a crowd, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to be excited when we can... Uh, pull people from like Madison, Milwaukee to come here and do a show for yeah. the night or something like that because like it's going to happen eventually. Like, It's just time. Yeah. And I think COVID here uh, 
is definitely going to help accelerate that a bit because people are leaving bigger cities like everything was just shut down yeah. um you can't really go anywhere like like i guess not really like milwaukee like chicago maybe you can still get out of town still quicker but um like you can just go take a walk and you're in the woods yeah basically <laughs> like that's, yeah. that's how like it's a big city like we have everything here things are like this place is developing um but it's a couple minute drive and you're out in the woods like we have yeah. a nature walk everywhere it's kind of nice um not just all city but it's like there's city here and sure, we're, we're right, trying to bring yeah. the hip-hop culture with it because that's one thing i think missing from the yeah, city it's that yeah. nice even because where i grew up initially uh <laughs> It was just all woods. There wasn't a city. <laughs> we had one grocery store in the entire, like, town. Yeah. And it was this very, very small, nothing place. Like, where I grew up before I moved to Mosinee, then to Wausau. It was this small town called Mercer. We had 400 people in the town. <laughs> it was just a blink and you miss it sort of thing. Whereas, like, you can't really do much there. Whereas, yeah. like, then... You go to a size like Wausau, it's that in-between of, it's not really like that big city just feeling, but it's also not that... We have an Olive Garden. Yeah, we have an Olive Garden, <laughs> we have a Walmart, we have a Target. <laughs> Culver's. We have Culver's. We have three we have Culver's. Taco Bell. We have a mall that's going to be destroyed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm right. going to cry. I mean, I can't wait to see the remodel, see... though. I, I can't... really want to see how, like, futuristic, how modern they make it, because if they make it look really nice, that could help with the music scene. I it'll definitely help think with advertising. 100%. It'll help with music videos. It'll help with photo shoots. That'd be awesome. I think, yeah, it, it was just a big building that they just slowly let die, and now they're going to, I hope, repurpose it, because it's a yeah. big chunk of thing that just sits there. But if they, like, parking, and parking be easier there. Um, I think The roads are about... crazy back there. Hopefully they make it like easier to traverse something make God it a damn, all those one ways and then like oh some of them are two way like, <laughs> <laughs> it gets a bit crazy yeah. don't turn wrong yeah don't turn screwed. the wrong way yeah oh. make sure you're looking at the at the signs it's gonna be pain in the ass when they're oh my so. god i'm gonna have to go like you can't not don't even drive just past gonna, that part of yeah, town no. just completely downtown just never drive there again. I, I, fucking at no point do i have to really. i don't really have to exactly yeah. they should have take it when covid was going on when nobody was out Big about. facts. I mean, they were. T that, that's when they started talking about taking them all down, though. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's when they were really it, starting that to really talk about really Now it's, like, coffee. serious. You know what would be really cool to do? What? Get a photo shoot in the abandoned mall. Ooh. That would be pretty sick. That's I know people that used to though. work there, so, like, maybe they have a key or something. <laughs> well, we can't trespass. Yeah, that, that's... We can't trespass. <laughs> <laughs> that's illegal so maybe we wink, can wink. maybe we can contact the city with a brick and uh, <laughs> oh. and we could go get a cool photo shoot hey that's a good advertisement for window makers you should go get a photo in front of it at least and you put your you put your before we, they we, just, on a brick. we could just get a huge group of all the artists on the station be like hey we're doing it now get everyone in there do a quick photo shoot for like, like an hour mob. yeah just quick as possible we're getting in and out getting a bunch of pictures and Done Wear your it. best outfit. You're not changing. Yeah, you're not changing. This is a one done thing. One and done thing. One Just get in there and get the fuck out. Take a picture. Next. <laughs> Next. It's like school day picture day. <laughs> yeah, right? They're all lined up on yeah. the side. Everyone has the same pictures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same pose and everything. Yeah. Same background. That'd be funny. Oh, that'd be uh. funny. Probably Did just right imagine? down the long hallway or something. Just like, like just in the just, background. Yeah. We would... We would <sighs> fuck. How or we could just get a what? bunch of different photographers. You know, and have I'm all mad. Set up and I house. always said they should make that into a paintball course. That'd be dope. In the mall, the only that problem with that awesome. mall is like I would go there all the time. It's so right? open. Like you can keep me home. It's so open and like generic, though. You know what I mean? Like there's not that's much okay. that's around. You can put obstacles so in the way. I feel like it would be hard to take take a good pictures there all the time. True. There's only a couple spots that I can think of, like next to the fountain or like that hallway to the bathroom's pretty fucking. Oh, there is a hallway to the bathroom. That is facts. That would be all right. But there's, I mean, there's a couple spots where there's like lights shining on it that we yeah, can but just this, being in the great. like in go to the part that's like the coals where it's the big open part. Okay. Like you could, you could. There's a bunch yeah, of different sure. shots I, you I could mean, get. I guess. Oh, the escalators and like the elevator we take shots on and shit like that. That'd be pretty dope. Do they have escalators? I think. Yeah, they, not or escalators. Or they stairs. Elevators. Never, they have elevators. Elevators and stairs. And stairs, and stairs. Okay. <laughs> it's like I, I it wasn't remember. that fancy. Yeah. yeah I don't I don't know. Remember when they were gonna start a cinema? Hopefully they put Oh, I remember. And then it just flopped and never even opened. Yeah. There's like yeah. I was so pissed. I was so excited for that. I'm like, finally, something at the mall that there's like, it'll keep me here for more than ten minutes. Hopefully they put escalators in the new place. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of. I am excited to see what they do. With I mean, you I think, think of them all, though. You think of some escalators. So yeah, I mean, they should. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, it's not a bad idea. But uh, yeah, we're about 20 minutes in. What else do we want to talk about here on the podcast? Um, uh, 
April 16th, Prism's got a new sh new song coming out on Spotify yeah. called So What. You guys should give that a check check that out. Check out his socials. Check out what everything he's promoting. You can pre-save the song on Spotify as well. Also, if you uh, do end up listening to some of my songs and you like the way I mix, go make sure to look up Prism Rap on Fiverr, and you can have me paid to mix some of your music. I have it set up so I can do a simple mix of like just bringing your vocals up to match the beat and like EQing. So a very simple mix of just helping you so you can do whatever effects you want, but still getting that sound quality. And then I also have a more premium mix, which is I do all of that, plus doing your effects and your vocal layering and all that kind of stuff and mixing your ad libs. And then I also have another package that's like, I called it the EP package. It's six to eight songs and I'll do them, I'll mix all of them and you give me like a two week span, I'll get them all done. It's relatively cheap for what you would normally see. It's 125 for eight songs. Yeah, and there's which, links to all your songs on CW Hip Hop. So mm -hmm. Well, even on my Fiverr page, when you go on there, oh, okay. uh, I have three of my songs posted on there that you can just click play Perfect. on there too and you can hear what I have. So if you, yeah, if glad you, you got that set up. Looking into getting your shit mixed. I need to get me up. set up for graphic design. Yeah, definitely. And for yeah. beats, that'd be a good idea. I'm excited to start doing it, just because like I love mixing our stuff, but I want to start mixing other people's stuff. And you, just, well, you'll get so much better at mixing that. Oh uh, yeah, will get better. Though. Yeah, more practice. Mm -hmm. Way more that's, practice. That's that'd be awesome. Realistically, what I want to do it Hell for, yeah. but I also, at some point, I mean, nine to fives kind of suck dick. That's facts. <laughs> even though you only True. work two and days I a love, week, motherfucker. But yeah, but I, I love music way more than anything else so like to be able to eventually maybe do it as my job pay pay my bills like fuck yeah that's the goal it's the goal work for yourself not someone else yeah facts to the moon to the moon <laughs> i'm trying to think anything else uh we do have the patreon set up on cwhiphop.com link is on there we do have stickers for sale we're looking at getting some new merch uh for the station uh looking into that some possible plans coming up on uh, what we can do for you and your your rap career or if you have a business uh, follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter at CW Hip Hop we upgraded the station so we have room for more uh, artists as well so send your music in cwhiphoprnb at gmail.com we'll take a listen to it see if uh, it's something we can put on the station for you if you do send it in send in your uh, the wave link um, for five of your best songs picture of uh, that you would want on cw hip-hop uh where you're from and links to your socials so there's just so that we have all that that's what we add on to the uh the station's information um on the website on yeah. the website yeah and uh also if you listen to this and you don't make music but you know someone who does tell them yeah tell them I don't uh, know. really the best way is right now it's free it's free. It's very yeah. free. Eventually, we have to start monetizing. Free, 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 free. For free, so for free. You get, you get on now, you're kind of getting a big bonus compared to anyone who else is yeah. coming. Early adopters always game. get the best advantage. Big oh, facts. Yeah. Hey, early bird catches the worm. Yeah. It's true. But the second mouse gets the cheese. But what if the first mouse is ah. smart, though? Like, what if it's, like, Stork <laughs> Little or Ratatouille? Like, they'll be, they're, they're smart mice. They Dude, I have out. some mice here that just get the cheese every exactly. time. Exactly. Like, so, what, they're smart. Like, you so, can it's it. not always the second <laughs> I mouse. can't wait till we can go to a studio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not really anymore since uh, Roni's been here, but he, uh, uh, yeah. before him, yeah, I, I was like, Roni. damn, you guys are quick. <laughs> damn. <laughs> You're <laughs> trying to catch them You just aren't hands. setting the, like, the mouse trap right, so they're just, it like, must be. Maybe I like, I, like, walk or something, it sets it off. With him saying that they were too quick, it sounds like he's sitting in the... He's chasing them. He's sitting in the living room with a pellet gun, and as soon as he goes to shoot, they run. You guys don't them. do that. God damn it, you're too quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can uh, listen back on this uh, on Spotify and SoundCloud. Uh, we do update that. We're going to be having the live show possibly on Spotify soon. We have quite a bit of music that is on the station as well as the Spotify app. So we can upload that the way that it's structured currently. What do you got, Prism? Please explain to me how we're going to be setting that up. Like, are what we going mean? to be having it so that... Uh, their actual music plays from Spotify yes. before we talk, then just like a five minute segment of us talking and then back into their music to another yeah. segment. Do you we mean can, like, like how the pod, are we setting the podcast in there? That no, actually would be a good the idea. The podcast is on there, but 
Uh, no, for the live show. So what we can do is we can have like the show how we have it set up. So we have our three minute talking block. We record that. We slice it. We put it into Anchor, and then that's a file there. And then we link to the songs that we play in order. And then we link um, our audio file for the talking segment again. And then link into Spotify. So it's the actual artist song. Yeah. So they get plays for it and uh, get the okay. money for it. Yeah. That's... Which is originally what we wanted is to okay. get it, but we were running yeah. into copyright, so it has to be uploaded to Spotify already before we can play it. Okay. Yeah, that's sick. I didn't realize that the website kind of lets you set it up. Go like look that. at Breaking and Entering. They're on Spotify, and that's what I want to do. Oh, They're okay. same setup. Uh, they have the exact same thing that I'm talking about. Yeah, I'll make awesome. sure to go no, check like them that. out on Spotify. That's a good idea. I, I just, if I'm listening to them, yeah, like, so you can listen on... live or you can listen on Spotify. I was just saying, on, the, on the Spotify playlist, listen like, twice. You could even do like. You know, we're gonna put all the songs in, into one playlist on on C W on a C W Hip Hop Spotify playlist, and uh, you could like every five songs put one of the podcasts too or something like that. Just not a bad idea. That. Yeah, it'd also be really cool to see because probably it would count the views on each talking block for us. Yep, I don't so know how like, that works, but yeah, possibly. That'd be well, cool. Because if it did that. Then we could see at what points in the show are people like dropping off because you could have one talking block up here that has like 100 listens and then the next one's at like say 75. Yeah. And you can see where people are dropping off and try. If you're dropping off on the first and second block, what's wrong with you? You're fired. Come on, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I thought we were doing this together. (laughs) <laughs> we are. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I'm going to call it there. We're about a uh, half hour in. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we did this after the live show, but we usually do it beforehand. And then we upload it and then play it after the live show on CWHipHop.com. Every Wednesday at 6 p.m. we are live. Pretty soon we're going to be having the studio in West End set up, so we'll be getting more interviews there. Uh, if you are interested in getting on, message us on in uh, the email at CWHipHopRMB so we can kind of get a plan and schedule for that. We're hoping we'll be getting those going really soon really 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 soon. hell yeah it's moving really quick i didn't realize how fast this was gonna grow hell yeah, yeah. Bro. no it's, we gotta keep going though we gotta take the pace. momentum you can't momentum. stop the momentum yeah um <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for tuning in we'll see you guys next week uh have a great night yeah thank you for stopping in thanks guys you have a great rest of your day thanks for tuning into the podcast hope to see you guys in the next uh next episode peace